Hi guys, so let's continue advanced algebra here. So in this basically we'll be seeing a lot of questions now, okay, of different varieties, a uh, few common sense based, identities based, okay, and powers based, uh, so a lot of uh, different varieties of questions we'll see in this series now, okay. So let's start this advanced algebra practice sessions. PQ, P square plus Q square plus R square is equal to 49, right? and x square plus y square plus z square is 64. All variables are real and positive. Px plus Qy plus R is 56. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit. Uh, okay. My throat is a bit. <coughs> now, if you see here, so basically if you understand this point is 49, right? So basically what is what do we observe in this? This is 49, okay. This is 64, that is 7 is square. It is 8 is square and it is 7 into 8. So this is the kind of pattern to observe in this kind of question actually. Okay, so <clears throat> once you once you want to solve right, so let's solve by, by both the methods here. So uh, let's put here method 1. So method is more of a method 1 is more of a algebra method, typical algebra. How do you combine this? So we'll think, think like this that something 7 into some 8 is some 56 here, right? Now if I want to think in the direction, so let me just write this equation as like if you divide by 7, right? So what I'll get guys? I'll get here, can I, if I divide by 7, can I write like this? P square by 49 plus Q square by 49 and plus R square by 49 equal to 1. And then I can write P by 7 whole square plus Q by 7 whole square plus R by 7 whole square is equal to 1. This can be my equation number 1. Okay, because I, I, I can sense it, something I multiply, I need to multiply these two equations, right? So like 7 into 8 is 56. Something like that, okay. Now, similarly, this equation can be written, right? This one, if I divide this by 64, then I can write here, x by 8 is square plus uh, y by 8 is square plus z by 8 is square is equal to, again, 1. This is my equation number 2, actually, right? And similarly, can I write this equation as uh, px by 56 plus qy by 56 and plus uh, rz by 56 is equal to 1. Okay. And basically what I want this to multiplication, right? This is this is something p by 7 here. So p by 7 into x by 8 is px by 56, right? So I should basically write like this here. p by 7 into q by 8. Okay. So directly write like this now p by 7 into q by 8. So write like p by 7, sorry not q by 8, x by 8. Okay. p by 7 into x by 8 plus uh, q by 7 into y by 8 plus uh, r by 7 into z by 8 here. Okay. This is what this is. This is uh, equation number 3 I can say. Correct. So you can observe it guys. Okay. So basically now you just try to understand because I need to find the value of your P plus Q is to X plus Y. Okay. So it can sense it, sense here that, okay, this is, if we, if we sort of manipulate one, two and three here, but this, uh, this equation is like A, if I just try to observe, this is like A is square. Okay. Uh, in the form, let's write in the form of what? In the A form of A is square, in the form of B is square, in the form of C A into B actually, A into B. So if I want to further factorize it, so let me, can I write this in the form of what? Uh, a, a plus B, A, uh, a plus B whole square or A minus B whole square, right? Huh? So when deciding what to do that A plus B whole square or A minus B whole square, right? So let's, I, I'll show you, right? This is just generally in the standard form of what? A minus B whole square. So let me just uh, solve it here, guys. I'll show you why it is, why I took A minus B and not A plus B, okay? So now, uh, I, how can how I can manipulate it actually? You can just see here that what I'll do, I'll just like uh, equation one plus uh, I'll add these two equation and minus two times equation three. Okay, so it's like one plus two and minus two times equation three. Okay, equation one plus equation two minus three times equation three, two times equation three because a square plus b square minus 2ab, right? So basically I can write this equation as p by 7 whole square uh, plus uh, 
x by 8 whole square minus twice of p by 7 into x by 8. Now you got this term. What is this term, guys? You got this term, na? This a square plus b square minus 2ab. And this I can write as what? a minus b whole square, right? So this I can write as p by 7 minus x by 8 whole square. Okay. So p by 7 minus x by 8 whole square. Correct. And then I can get the value here. p by 7 minus x by 8 whole square. Similarly, this one, the second one I can write as <clears throat> uh, q by 7 minus y by 8 whole square. Similarly, in a, in a similar way I can write here. That second one actually. And third one I can write r by 7 minus z by 8 whole square. This I can write here. Okay. That's the third one. And this should be equal to 0. Right. So once this sum of three perfective squares is 0, that means individually all are 0. Right. That means individually all are 0 because perfect square can never be negative. Sum of three perfect squares is 0 or three squares is 0. So basically all are individually 0. So I can write like now if, if p by 7 minus x by 8 is 0, that means p by 7 is equal to x by 8. And similarly, q by 7 minus y by 8 equal to 0. That means q by 7 is equal to y by 8. Correct, right? So I can come till this place. Anna. Now, I can write p, uh, with this, this is both are 7 by 8, right? So I can write like, okay, p by x is equal to 7 by 8 and p by x and q by y also 7 by 8. So q by y is equal to p by x 7 by 8. And I need to find, find the value of p plus q to x plus y ratio. That means p plus q, right? So basically it's a law of fraction, you know, right? Uh, we know this, right? Obviously, because whenever we have, uh, if a by b is equal to c by d, then a plus c upon this is equal to a plus c upon b plus d, right? Because basically we add both numerators and denominators, it, it is equal to same fraction here, right? Same thing I can apply here. So basically if, if these two are equal, so I can write a uh, p plus q upon x plus y is equal to 7 by 8. 7 by 8 is the answer for this question. Right. So that's the first method to solve this kind of question. If we could have this question in theta also, because they push in theta, they can give uh, this kind of options, right? Let's say a by b. And they'll write that in the box, find write the value of a plus b. <clears throat> okay. So 15 would be the answer, right? So this is where we need to proceed, right? So basically the thing, main point to observe here was this is 7 is square, this is 8 is square and this is 7 into 8. Okay, so this is how this is a standard algebraic form. Okay, we should, uh, we actually should know it, right? We actually should know it. Okay, how do we solve it? Fine. Now, if, if I further, uh, if I also go by, learn in this question, I can assume, let's say, we have some options given here. Okay, so method one was if there are no options and all, right? The general method. If we have options given here, and for example, let's say the options are, uh, could be 1, could be 5 by 8, could be uh, 7 by 8, could be 3 by 4, and could be, uh, let's say, 2, something like that, okay. So obviously now, now we know the answer is 7 by 8, right? But okay, so basically if options are there, then in this kind of complex equ uh, equ equation, so you can always use a common sense actually. Now what common sense I can use here, I know that these all variables are real and positive, right? Okay, real and positive. So basically what I'll, I'll try to say that, I need the value of p plus q upon x plus y. Okay, so once I need the value of p plus q upon x plus y, what I will think here that, ki, let's say if I need p plus q, so for time being here, I'll just try to make any one variable almost zero. I know it is variable are real and positive, right? It's like it's almost like, 0 0.000001. It's almost 0, 0, 0, right? Okay. So if two of the variables are almost 0, then the value of p becomes 7, right? So if two of the variables are almost 0, the value of p becomes 7. Okay, 7 plus 0, I can write. And similarly for x plus y, okay? So two of the variables y and z, let, let they are almost 0, like 0 0.0001, 0 0.0001, like that, okay? So x will be like 8, hey na? so it will be like 8 plus 0. So you'll get the answer as what? 7 by 8. Okay. And then you can mark C option here. So this approach also we can use uh, you, use here if there are options. Even if the options are not there, right? Then also we can uh, we can uh, use this approach to get the answer as 7 by 8, right? 
Basically, both the funda you should know once. Uh, uh, but in the Tita question, uh, it, actually we are less confident while marking the, uh, with this kind of approach. You know, we while marking are less confident, right? Because in algebra, there's always something like, "Kuch chhut to nahi gaya, kuch aur to nahi ho sakta," hai, right? Okay. So, but in options, when you get get some uh, options, there's a solve by logic. Like this. So, in, when you solve logically and you get some options in the uh, in uh, in your answers, right? Then you're very confident while marking also, right? So, basically, both the funda are important. Okay, that's an, that was an standard algebraic approach, and this is more of a common sense approach, right? So basically, just uh, try to make it all uh, everything for zero, almost zero, right? That means p will be seven and x will be eight. So our answer is seven by eight. So hope you got this, guys. Okay. Also, all of you give all of you must give this combat, guys. So it's a really good exam happening every Sunday at twelve p.m. So in this you get a really good quality questions with the questions which are a kind of new you won't find those on other platforms. Okay, so it gives a good experience, uh, very close to CAT because the quality of the questions will be of that level and that will be new for all of you. Also, it it's a fun because it will be all India leaderboard. Okay, uh, after every question, so you can the faster you answer a question, the better your score will be. After every question, that leaderboard shows, right? It's a kind of fun also. So do this give. It's a good exercise. One hour every Sunday, make it a habit. And whatever questions are there, just make a note of those questions because those are your question bank. And we every week we are doing it right now. So already I I think six or seven combats are over. So it's a good high quality questions. Ten questions in uh, ten questions per combat in quant. Ten questions per combat in LRDI. So you already have some sixty seventy uh, good questions collection. Okay, in quant in LRDI. And same for verbal also, right? Do give it this Sunday twelve p.m. Okay, it invite code. It will ask you put the invite code Ravi Rodha. So Ravi Rodha, it will be invite code. Okay, it is absolutely free for everyone. You just download an academy app and register for combat. Okay. And also, also this combat, guys. Okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions. Okay. So the easy questions are are not asked here. So it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts. Okay, and uh, uh, this from this Sunday onwards, it is in basically revised format. So basically we are mo moving closer to CAT right now. So in January, February, and March we were like away. Uh, we are around eight to ten months away from CAT. So the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level, right? But this from now onwards. The questions will be of higher, higher level, okay, and uh, all the LRDA sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually, giving this is a fun because after every question you get, you get, get, get your live ranking, okay. Then uh, after every question, the faster you answer, the better your the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually, those one hour test is a fun, and actually, if you look at the cat. You should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before CAT, okay? And this one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this. I think okay. So rank one, two, three, one year subscription. I think around twenty thousand or seventy five percent scholarship or fifty percent. So it's a great prizes are on offer here, okay? So get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here. Ravi Roda, it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely absolutely free of cost. Okay, ask you for invite code. Put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday, give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.